Today something strange happened. We had a new earthquake swarm under the Swartzengi volcanic system, exactly on the spot on the Swartzengi volcanic uh, area, where the Blue Lagoon and the Swartzengi are located. I marked them on the map. This is the Reconus Peninsula, and this is the location of this cluster of the uh, earthquakes. Um, we can see this on the tremors chart as a rise of the magma line. That's a purple line. You can see that magma line rising that was around uh, 6 to 8 uh, a.m and you can see it again on the earthquake chart again visible if you plot them on the map that is where the, they are located and when we look at the earthquake depth chart this is where they are this is the central point the narrow one you can see this is falling under the sword sink in the near the grindavik and I'm rotating it, you can see that the depth of it is rising from 4, 5 to around 3 kilometers. There were magnitude 1 earthquakes, not very big, like the, unlike the previous ones in the Krisovic volcanic system, which is now you can see that the center, the bigger circles, those ones. The one related to the uh, what I'm discussing now is now at the lower part of the image. That was at that depth, and I'll mark it again, I'll show you that. This is where the Land uprift due to the magma accumulation on the Swartzing volcanic system happened. These are the University of Iceland GPS stations. It shows a rise, now flattening of the chart, where it shows actually the land was rising due to magma accumulation. When it goes flat, it means the magma is also going out of that system. That was the Swartzing, and this is the Elfdorf. You can see again the GPS station shows the same trend coming up the magma, then going out. That is, means the bladder or that area is filled, then the magma moves from that direction. University of Iceland data shows this to me. Um, the Meteorological Office of Iceland believes that's not the case. This is a difference in opinion. Um, uh, I am thinking that this is the case. And I will show you, actually, I showed you the uh, charts all showing that this is the deeper source at the 12 kilometer charging this uh, source of magma storage at the depth of four or five kilometers. This is the one which caused this today's uh, uh, activity. These are the chain of craters that I have named, and K1 is the biggest one. I have named it as K1. It has survived. It's a, it is the only erupting one. I have a speed of this video, but that is not the purpose of it. I'm showing the waves in the cauldron. You can see the waves. And uh, one is coming any moment. This is the one. Yes, you saw one wave. This means the magma is now filling up to the brim almost. This cauldron, this crater. Another wave coming any moment. This is another one coming. And that means the magma has arrived in that area. And we probably will have something like what happened before. A, a lava overflow and eventually cracking and shattering of one of the walls which may lead to the emptying of the crater or the cauldron where the lava is boiling into in the last stage of eruption. When we see both the lava and the smoke rising from the volcano, today we saw an increase in the amount of the smoke rising from the K1 crater. That shows another proof for what I have uh, described here.